How's it going guys? Welcome to the final section of this blog application. In the last section, we ended up implementing this homepage and we also implemented this um, blog kind of section where we just list all the blog posts. Now, in between the last section and this section, I ended up adding a bunch of blog posts just so that I wouldn't have to waste time in this section doing all that. So there's just a blog post within every kind of different category. And then they're all listed here. And then in my admin panel, now instead of just having these three that I had before, now I have all of these other ones added, just in case you're wondering where all of these blog posts came from. All right, so I am right now running my database and my backend server, and I'm also running my front end right now. And I'm gonna start working on the blog detail and the category, and then we're gonna be all done with this blog application. So right now, if we click on continue reading on one of these blog posts, we'll see that we don't really have anything displayed other than the words blog detail here. And then also with the categories, if I click on environment, we don't actually see any categories from the environment section displayed here. So that is what we're going to do in this section. And then we're going to wrap all of this up. So I'm going to go ahead and start off in this blog detail. I'm going to have some curly braces since we are going to have logic here, since we're going to have to retrieve the blog detail. And that's going to be an Axios request. So I'm going to display things more like this. And then within here, I'm just going to have a div. It's going to have a class name. Make sure to have a capital N there. And that's going to have container, margin top. And then let's do three. And then within here, I'm going to have an H1 tag. It's going to have a class name equal to display two. And then I'm going to dynamically retrieve that um, title that's going to be displayed here. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to make the Axios request and all that. So I'm going to fill this dynamic stuff in a little bit later. And then I'm going to have an H2 tag here. It's going to be text muted, margin top three. It's going to be category. And then it's going to have the category dynamically implemented in here. Then I'm going to have an H4. This is going to have a class name. Actually, I'm just going to leave it as the default here. So no class name. And then this is just going to be the month and day, which I'm going to fill this stuff in later. I'm just going to have this stuff here as placeholder. It's just so I know that this is I'm going to have to fill in later. And then I'm going to have a div. Now it's going to have a class name of margin top five, then MB five. And then this is actually going to be a self closing div. And then, and then this is where I'm going to grab the, if we go into like the back end and click on one of these, we have this kind of content section, and then I'm going to be grabbing that content and displaying it. So this div is going to have that and I'm going to need to have a function for doing that. And that is going to be dangerously um, set inner HTML. And then that's going to be equal to a function that we're going to create, which is going to be handling that. So I'm going to have a constant create blog. And then within here, I'm going to return double underscore HTML. And then I'm going to bring in that content. And this is going to come from a state that we're going to create, which is going to be the blog. And then that blog is going to have this content. Since if we go into our um, backend blog, the model, we have this content here. So that is what we're grabbing. And this is going to have that attribute. So I'm going to have to create that state. So blog set blog use state. And then that is just going to be an object here. So we're still going to have to do the Axios request, of course, in order to actually have access to this. But this is how we're going to retrieve that. And then within here, I'm just going to have the name, which is create blog and then gonna run that. 
So that is how we retrieve that. And then below that, going to have an HR. And then below that, going to have a paragraph with a class name, lead MB5. And then going to have a link. And of course, I'm going to have to bring in link. That comes from reactor router DOM. And then this link, it's going to go to slash log. And then it's going to have a class name, font weight, bold, and then back to blog. So this just brings us back to the list of blogs. All right, and that should be everything we need within here. So now let's focus on some of the dynamic stuff we're gonna need. So we already handled this piece of state. Now we're gonna need use effect. And of course we have to bring in use state and use effect. And then I, because I'm using hooks, need to make this into a capital or else I'm gonna get some errors. We're gonna put in our use effect here. So this is going to kind of be treated as a componented mount. Um, actually, no, it won't be. Now that I think about it, what I'm going to need to do is pass in props here. And then within here, I'm going to do, um, this is going to update whenever it's props.match.params.id. So whenever the ID and the URL um, like has a change, this is going to be triggered. That's what I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a const slug. That's going to be props.match.params.id. And then within here, I'm going to have a constant fetch data. And then that's going to be async. Um, oh my goodness. There we go. That's going to be like this. Then I'm going to call the fetch data. And then within here, I'm going to have a try catch going to catch the air and I'm not going to do any air handling here, but within this catch, I'm going to have const response is equal to await axios dot get. And I don't know why this was a capital, my mistake. So axios dot get, and then I'm going to have um, the tildes, and then it's going to be process dot env dot react app api url and then that's going to be slash api slash blog slash and then i'm going to have to grab that slug all right so after i get that response i'm going to set blog to be the response dot data and that should be good here let's see if i made any errors here all right, looks good. So I'm, of course, still going to have to bring in this stuff dynamically. And I'm also going to need to have that one function that we made before, which was the capitalized first letter, just so we can display the category correctly. So I'm just going to paste that in here so I have it. And now let's bring in this stuff dynamically. So I'm going to have blog.title. And then instead of category, I'm going to have capitalize first letter blog dot category. There you go. So that should bring that in. We already handled this here. And then all we need is the day and the month. So instead of um, the month here, I'm going to have blog dot month. And then instead of day here, I'm going to have blog.day. Now let's go ahead and save this and see if it worked. So if I click on this best places to travel, let's see, we got the title best places to travel. We got category travel, the uppercase is displayed. We have the date being displayed and we have the content being displayed. So perfect. So now we can even go back to blogs and there we go. That works. If we go on style trends of 2020, we see it's all being displayed exactly how it should. So perfect. So last little thing we're going to tackle now is just these categories. So 
Let's go ahead and go into category here. And let's start messing with some of this stuff here. So here I'm going to have a div with a class name equal to container margin top three. And then within here, I'm going to have an H3 class name will be equal to display four. And then I'm going to have, um, so I'm going to have to bring in stuff um, dynamically here. So in here is where I'm going to bring in something dynamic. That's going to be the category. And then it's going to be like world category or environment category. So I'm going to bring this in a little later. And then below here, I'm going to actually have all the categories listed like I have here. Now, of course, I already did this before. So why not just go ahead and copy where I did that? So right in here. I just want to grab this thing here and just go ahead and paste that here. So link is not defined, of course. So bring that in. So now if I were to go ahead and go on like the world category, I have category world, we see that the categories are being displayed here. Or environment, you see that it's updating the ID here. So perfect. Of course, we have to still bring this in dynamically. So it's not saying category. So we're going to work on that. All right. So to get started here, what I'm going to do is bring in, I'm going to need use state and use effect, of course. So use state, use effect. I'm going to turn this into a capital. And then I'm going to have a return here instead going to wrap this and then I'm going to have to change this to curly brace Oop. and then this one to a curly brace. There we go. Looks good. And then I'm also going to need Axios for the API call. So Axios from, from Axios. There we go. And then within here, we're going to have blogs set blogs. It's going to be equal to use state. It's going to be an empty list. And then this is going to be the list of blogs that fit within the category. And then going to have current category and set current category. That's going to be use state. And by default, it's just going to be empty here. Going to need use effect. And then this use effect is going to again have props dot match dot per oops match dot params dot ID. And then within here, going to have const. Oh my goodness. Const category props dot match dot params dot ID. And then I'm going to do set, I can just copy this set current category. And then this is going to be category. And then I want to capitalize the first letter. So of course, we have to make sure we have this function available here. Just gonna paste that right below here. And I'm going to wrap this in that function. There we go. That looks good. And then I'm going to have const config. And that's going to be headers. And then I'm going to have content type application JSON. And then I'm going to have I'm just going to copy the fetch data because it's going to be kind of similar. Just going to copy this, paste that right in here. So fetch data. And then of course, this is going to be different. It's going to be instead of this, we're going to have slash category. And then we're going to want to pass in the category. 
and we're going to want to pass in the config. And this is going to be instead of set blog, it's going to be set blogs. All right, so API blog category. And then that's also going to be a post request, I believe. Yeah, um, just to double check, if we go into blog here, we have category, yeah. So this is handling a post request, so we have to make sure this is axios.post instead of axios.get. And the rest looks good here, so we brought in this function. Now we're going to need a constant get category blogs. And then this is going to be the function that's going to display the blogs. And of course, we are going to also need right below, um, this indenting's a little messed up, there we go. So I'm gonna have right below this here, I'm just gonna do get category blogs and run that, and that's gonna get the actual blogs within that category and display them. And then this function is gonna handle that. So let's go ahead and write the code for that function. I'm gonna let list equal an empty list. Let result equal an empty list as well. And then I'm gonna do blogs.map. I'm gonna do blog post. So for each blog post within blogs, we're going to return list.push. And then what we're gonna push is um, the actual card and we did do this previously so let's just grab the code for that so that's just this right here so we grab that we have blog post category that's going to stay the same blog post title so yeah all of this should be the exact same so now what we're going to want to do below this we're going to have our for loop and we're going to display things two by two and we actually do this right here. So let's just go ahead and copy this, paste it right in here. So list.length, we have a row here. <coughs> and then we push everything to result, we return result, and that should be good. So props is not defined, so let's make sure we bring in props. And then we also want to use this current category. So, uh, where was that? That was right here. We want to replace this with current category. And let's see how things look. So, we have world category, environment category, technology, and we actually see these displaying correctly here. So we go to business, yeah, we have two posts in business. So yeah, that looks good. So of course the thumbnails aren't being displayed, so let's go ahead and fix that here by doing an npm run build. All right, so that finished building. So I'm just gonna delete this one in the back end, and I'm gonna copy this one in the front end that just built and paste that into the back end folder. So now we have this updated build here. So now instead of navigating to localhost 3000, I'm gonna navigate to 8000. Oops. Oh my goodness, that is annoying, okay. So localhost 8000, check out the blogs. This is all displaying right. We can go ahead, view this, and we can go into the different categories. Ah, but we are getting an issue here. So let's see what's going on. So we're gonna start this up. And let's do a little bit of debugging and fix whatever's going wrong here. Okay. So I figured out what the issue was, and it's actually because you can't be logged into your admin panel when you're retrieving these posts. So now I'm able to actually see these different categories. So yeah, just make sure you're not logged into your admin panel or else you won't be able to retrieve these. So right now we can see that everything works. I'm able to um, kind of categorize all of these different blogs. I can go ahead and click one, I can go to the blogs, I can Categorized by environment, technology, I can click on this one. So yeah, the whole blog right now is implemented and everything works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 
um, kind of blog series here, kind of seeing how you can implement a blog using Django and React. And if you enjoyed this series, then feel free to leave a nice big like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next series. Thank you.